hello welcome to another edition of faith boost encouraging edition i'm not doing devotional edition with you today i just fell to come on this platform to encourage you out of the flow out of you know experiences as a growing believer Two scriptures I'm basing this sharing with you. Two scriptures. The first one is 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 9. The second one is John chapter 16 33. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 9 by the Spirit Apostle Paul. Say, the Lord used him to say to us, you know in part, we as humans, we, you, I, us, as the human race. Now, human race, and out of those that have been called out as sons and daughters of God, those of us who have believed God by faith and embraced his way, that is his son, Jesus Christ, we only know in part. And this is why we must not, we must not conclude that it is over in God's economy in God's kingdom there is no hopeless situation I'm sharing this with you because for me you know when I come maybe I come on this platform and tell you oh my goodness I won a million dollars oh my goodness I you know I God made you know like no I got I got a property or whatever they test money that is physical manifestation. We get excited even in churches when we give such example, such testimonies. But the testimony and the encouragement that I want to share with you is the things, you know, is, you know our kingdom is a kingdom of word declaration. God visit us with his word. He said God visited. If you look at all the people that God visited, when he visited, what did he do? He gave them words from Abraham to the, the future parents of Samson to Moses to Joshua. I can start the, to every single time to marry the mother of Jesus, in both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. What God, he walks with us with his word. He comes to visit us and he declared the word and immediately we choose to obey him. We choose to accept that word and begin to declare it. I tell you, we have declared war. The kingdom of God declare. The kingdom of Satan will come to test us, to see if, how firm we stand. Imagine the longest person in the Bible that stood on the word of God as far as scripture is recorded was Noah. God said, I will send rain, build the ark. For 120 years, the man kept declaring by every inch of nail that he put together that ark, he was declaring the word of God. So in my own life, there's so many times, there's so many things going on. Like yesterday, something happened. Well, I was stuck in one place for five hours and about 15 minutes. And the thing is, what, what, I, what I learned about myself in that moment, even before I came on this platform, I, I turned the camera on, I was contemplating what is my motive to share this with you. And I searched my spirit, I searched my heart. It's like, if it's not to bring glory to Christ, then there is no need for it. And I searched my heart. And I know that the purpose is to bring glory to Christ and to be a blessing to you. Because the Bible talks about that God is the God of all comfort. I think it's in the Roman, the book of Romans chapter 4, I believe. He's the God of all comfort. And he comforts us so that we also can comfort others. And that is the purpose why I'm here is to tell you that even in the midst when you are on the mountain the devil will still come 
But the issue is not the devil coming. Because Jesus has already told us in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10a, say the devil, the enemy, the thief comes but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So the devil is always going to do his work as far as the allotted time. There is allotted time for him. Until that time is over, he's going to continue to do his work. But you and I, Jesus said to us in the same John chapter 16, 33, say in this world, you will have tribulations. You will have, the amplifier say, you will have frustrations. You will have trials. But be of good cheers because I've overcome the world. So that's why I'm here to encourage you today. You, a child of God, you're a bona fide child of God. You have given your life to Jesus. The devil will always come to try us, to tempt us. But the, he that is in us is greater than him that is in the world. So back to situations and circumstances, especially when you've been on the mountaintop, like at my church, we finish. I notice Every time there is spiritual exercise, that's a height of a heightened spiritual activities, a corporate one where there's a corporate anointing, you know, corporate blessing. When you come out, the devil is waiting for you. The devil is waiting. The devil is waiting. So we know the devil is going to do his work. So they, 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 that I, it was this close, you know, the Lord averted me, um, accident yesterday so i i was quote unquote stuck in one place for five hours like i say and 15 about 15 minutes or so so i called myself there was nobody just me olivia Onyekachi. <laughs> i called myself okay it, it wasn't even a it was no brother to be honest it wasn't anything of me i was like okay and maybe the, I don't know if the devil was expecting a reaction from me. But what I am saying is, I thank God. What that moment and those times that I was there showed me and my attitude was everything. Nobody was watching me. But the Holy Spirit is there. Jesus is there. The Father is there. It's like, I know that there was some growth and i'm i'm not saying that so that you can say i'm no 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 i kept saying that to encourage you and to you know to for us i was sharing with the sister say that is the thing is that if we observe ourselves and how we are responding as we our god is growing us by the power of his holy spirit and we are practicing the word we see the internal workings of the word of God within my spirit, the internal workings of the Holy Spirit with the word, the word and the spirit working together within my spirit man to produce more of Jesus. Apostle Paul says in Galatians 14, 19, Galatians 19, Galatians, no, Gal sorry, there's no Galatians 19, Galatians 4, 19, Galatians 4, 19. Say, my children with whom I travel until Christ is fully formed in you. So, there will be a traveling in us by the Holy Spirit and as we yield to him. So, it was I mean, like what I really thank God for was that I didn't react. There's a difference between reaction and respond. And the attitude that we bring when situations whether it's beyond our control or not there is always one thing we can control our attitude we can 100 percent be in charge of our attitude i wish i can tell you that it's all it was always like you know the attitude that i had yesterday was always the attitude but i just want to encourage you Whatever the situation is that may seem that is beyond your control, your attitude goes a long way. Let your attitude bring glory to Jesus.
let it bring honor to the Father. Let it please the Holy Spirit.